gurus never really tell you. It's actually how much you put in your body, what you put in your body, how much of it you're putting in your body, and stuff like that. That's what really counts. And, you know, part training, besides, you know, the gym and stuff like that, is also learning learning what to actually, you know, eat. And even then, how much you eat. It's really the fact of how much you eat. Because most problem most people, like, most bodybuilders builder, or just anyone who's just trying to get fit in general, they that they eat more. No. When your stomach starts to feel sick, it's a good indicator it's your body's trying to communicate you to you, telling you something. And anyone that's trying to tell you is to stop. You know, it's just like people who do self piercings where they'll shove a large metal object, part way bigger than their ear, and then their ears feel like it's cut off. You know, it's t it's a the message is telling you to stop. It's the same thing with your stomach. If your stomach don't feel so well, it's not. It could either be a what you're eating or two how much you eat, how much of the capacitor you have. Because most humans. Actually, every human has a certain what body weight, natural body weight. Not counting obese people or people with born with illnesses that make them obese. I'm actually talking about just the average human being. The average human being, there's a capacitor you can never go past. You could try to do it, but you're only going to hurt yourself and make yourself throw up and stuff like that because you're not meant to put that much in there. You know, you gotta remember how much to put. You know, how much. Now, a little snacking won't do too much, like most people say, you know. It's better to have the one big meal. It's actually better to have the one big meal for, like, dinner and the rest of it a little snacking. Kind of the Japanese stuff. And that's kind of what I actually do is, you know, I kind of copy the Japanese people where two small meals or at least snack during the day and then when it gets to dinner that's gonna be my big meal so I'm you know not packing as much calories especially if I can't get to the gym or say gas runs out or I can't pay for gym membership anymore or whatever the case may be or I don't feel so good you know I ain't packing too much I can't work off now, you are going to pack a lot of calories already from eating just even stuff that's supposedly healthy for you, <laughs> you know, has some calories packed in it because, well, the American diet is shit because they put so much stuff in everything, even the healthiest kind of food ever, even in the plant food, they put something in there. But the point I'm trying to say is that your capacitor can can't go past a certain amount if you over capacity of course you're gonna feel sick of course you're gonna feel like throw up but your body telling you maybe you need to stop you know you need to kind of stop before you actually expand your stomach and then have worse health problems down the line such as heart related issues back related issues etc you know, part of it is training and activity, but, you know, it's all, the other part is how much you put in your system. Uh, I kind of subscribe to the Japanese diet word, you know. Last minute of the day is going to be my big fee, you know, fiesta. For the rest of it's going to be, the rest of the day is going to be really, really small. Not very much. Maybe a cup of coffee from time to time, you know, with a toast or something like that. You know, a couple of snack food, you know. The, you know, what are, it's just, you know, most. Now, I know people are going to get mad and tell me I'm wrong, and I always get that because I get hate comments all the time, but, you know, and nobody wants to hear it because, well, we got to be all PC now, so you can't say anything that's not. Uh, politically correct even if it's accurate truth you know your body can't handle over what the capacity is let's see numbers is the reason why I say numbers is life because everything is told by numbers and your body mass index 
you know, does not lie to you. If you can't put stuff in, in there, chances are your stomach's full and your tongue and your end and satisfied and your stomach's telling you you can't. It's you can't go over that amount or that limit because <laughs> that's you know, you gotta you do the math. It's just like having something that's over infinity. There's nothing that could be over infinity because it, you know, infinity is the ultimate. It's the, it, it's unlimited. It's beyond. It's 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 already beyond itself. You can't have something go oh, goes over because it don't it don't fit in. The multiplier does not fit in. Well, neither does when you have your stomach. Your stomach's like a, like like not like a bank account. A bank account. You could stuff the bank account with up to five billion dollars if you want to. You know, granted, if you're not taking any social welfare, but otherwise, you could stuff that bank account as much as you want. But your stomach, you really cannot. Your stomach has a limit itself. Each bar of your body has a limit for a reason. It's to keep you alive. And numbers don't lie. You gotta, you gotta actually take. Your body, your body mass, and BMW, I mean BMI, I think, body max index, and times it with what you eat and how much calories you eat on a day. Multiply that or divide it or add whatever you gotta do and see how much you have to work off. But also see how much you, over you're going compared to what you already have. You know. If you're a short person, it's unwise to overeat. If you're a taller person, you may got a little bit of a chance, but still, never over, never push it. You know, never pu over push yourself. Because if you over push yourself to anything, you're only gonna fail. You know, and crash and burn, and that's what's gonna happen. You know. So the point I'm trying to say right here is. For fitness advice, it's not exactly what you eat. It's really how much you really put in your body that really tips the scale. So many crystal be with you. We're also working on a Vincent Valentine web series um, fan trailer, at least. So please support JTS Productions. If you want to see a Vincent Valentine, you know, trailer, then hopefully one day it becomes a web series, so there's that too.